So screen capture protection in Azure Virtual Desktop is quite awesome because it allows you to do stuff like this. But now if I grab a screen capture, you can already see in the preview that whatever's inside my AVD session is gone. So if I grab the screen now, you see it's all blacked out and it's also quite easy to set up. So let's jump right in, shall we? Like I said, it's quite easy to set up, but it's actually not configured in the Azure portal as you might expect. It's actually configured on each and every session host, either through central group policy or local group policy, registry, endpoint manager, anything like that. So let's jump over and see how this works, shall we? So on my laptop here, I can fire up a AVD session uh, like I would normally. And while I'm logging in, you can go on down and like and subscribe. So quite normal AVD session. If I try to grab the screen, it looks like this. So I, can, I am able to grab screenshots or share the screen in any Teams meeting or Zoom call. And both my desktop and whatever's inside my AVD session will be shown. But let's configure screen capture protection so we can remediate this. So I'll close that. And on my session host here, I'll open up the local group policy. Make this a bit bigger. <clears throat> and under computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, I should be able to find remote desktop services and then remote desktop session host. And here I'll find Azure Virtual Desktop. If this is not here on your computer, then you probably are just missing the admin templates, which you can download from aka.ms slash avdgpo. And within here, I have the enable screen capture protection. So I'll hit enable on that and okay. And then I'll close my AVD session and log back in. So as you can see, I'm back in the same session I was previously. But now if I grab a screen capture, you can already see in the preview that whatever's inside my AVD session is gone. So if I grab the screen now, you see it's all blacked out. And this would be the same if I were sharing my screen in a Teams meeting. So that's how easy it is to set up and how it works. And this is by all means not perfect. Um, as Microsoft themselves says, its primary purpose is to prevent any unintended leaks, like people accidentally sharing screen or if they have some spyware on their computer or something like that. If people want to capture whatever's in the AVD session, they can. Like for instance, in my setup here, I am capturing the output from my laptop via a capture card. So it's easy to work around, but it's also quite easy for preventing unintended leaks. If you like this video, check out my video where I compare Azure Virtual Desktop with Windows 365. And uh, yeah, cheers.